There is only one thing that this big box can mean and that is today is an unboxing and new guitar day. Right, we won't mess around, we'll get straight in and check out what we've got from court. Here we go, let's give you the first shot. Wow, look at that. Okay, let's get this out. Nice gig bag. Okay, dokey. So, this is the Court Gold A6 Bacote. Now, I'm not sure I'm saying Bacote right, but Bacote is the wood that is on the back and the sides of this guitar. And I think it looks absolutely stunning. There we go. Beautiful guitar. It is very, very light. First thing I notice is this neck is really, really smooth. It's got a satin finished neck and it really feels great. Uh, the wood on the back of this guitar just looks totally stunning. The top is Torrified Sicker Spruce. It has an auditorium cutaway. On the top here, it has a Fishman uh, Flex Blend system, which is amazing. You have got a microphone inside this guitar, as well as the usual Fishman Bridge Pickup. You've got beautiful looking top on this. There we go. The fingerboard is ebony. It's also got ebony bridge pins. And I have to say, the frets are absolutely beautiful. They are hand rolled fret ends and they feel gorgeous. This body has a very, very clever neck system. It is a double locking joint, which we'll check out. Underneath the fingerboard, it's also got a walnut reinforced neck. Obviously, we've seen the soft case, which comes with it. But what you don't know is this is a special sonically enhanced UV finish, which is much thinner and allows the wood to resonate. Let's go and check out some of the beautiful tones on this lovely looking guitar.
A couple more things. It has got beautiful open back tuners. I really love the headstock detail with this very, very simple logo on it and the court logo. Court really do make great guitars these days. This Bacote wood is really, really pretty. I don't know if we can show you that in detail there, but it is a really, really pretty looking wood. The finishing is exquisite with lovely binding all the way round. The fretboard is also nicely bound. And again, these fret ends are so beautifully rolled off. There is a binding, a two part binding around the headstock which looks great. And just at the bottom, there is the output for the jack socket. So this will mix the microphone that's in here and the P80 bridge pickup that's in this system. So I don't know what you think of this guitar. I think it sounds and plays absolutely beautifully. The action height is perfect absolutely perfect all the way up from the neck even at the top frets i really really like this guitar and i hope you do too and this guitar i believe is 799 pounds and at that price i think it reflects amazing value for what you're getting for that price the feel of the neck to play is exquisite. It really is not a thick neck, but it has got a beautiful sheen on it that makes it very, very easy to play. If I have one criticism, it's the placement of this strap button because that does kind of get in the way with your fingers when you get up to the top frets but that aside this guitar is absolutely beautiful to play i think it looks very very pretty i love this mother of pearl rosette detail there's uh two lines either side and a mother of pearl inlay around the middle which just sits up against the pick guard the detail on the 12th fret is also really pretty and I like the dots. The dot inlay markers are pretty straightforward and you've also got dots on the top as usual. There's a lovely detail in this bridge with these two little marks that match the marks on the 12th fret and are similar to that on the headstock. And I think it looks really pretty. The mother of pearl dots in these ebony bridge pins also looks great. And this has been chamfered out to make these pins sit down really, really well giving you good tension over the bridge. The headstock brake angle is perfect and the strings go fairly straight through the nut. I think my favorite thing about this guitar is not just the wood on the back, but also the feel of the neck. It is so easy to play and it's got a nice volute there as well. So finding your way home to the cowboy court is really easy. I've tuned this guitar up now and it was very, very simple and easy to tune using the onboard tuner. We won't mic this guitar up to play it with the usual MKH416 Sennheiser mic because it's got a built-in mic. I'm very interested to see what the mix and blend is like between the piezo and the microphone that's built in.
I'll be back with the best content I can just as soon as I can. But in the meantime, as always, my friends, you take good care.